Welcome to Blues Rock Weekly, your source for what's going on in the world of blues rock. If you're new to the channel, we bring in the news and blues rock every single week, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on in the genre. Dion will release his new album, Girlfriends, on March 8th. The album features 12 tracks, all with renowned female guests, including Susan Tedeschi, Joanne Shaw Taylor, Sue Foley, Shamika Copeland, Danielle Nicole, and more. A music video has been released for the first single, Soul Force, with Susan Tedeschi. Watch it now at bluesrockreview.com. Jesse Dayton has released a live video for his new single, Baby's Long Gone. That's off his upcoming album to be released this spring. It's a tribute to Dayton's ex-wife who passed away during the pandemic. Here's what Jesse told us about the upcoming album. It's a record that Shooter Jennings produced, um, and Shooter has, is on, he's riding a big wave right now um, because he just won four Grammys in the last four years as a producer, and now he's like the Concord house producer. And I just called him up, and we did this record in Los Angeles, and it's uh, it's got a lot of blues rock stuff on it. Watch the music video for Baby's Long Gone at bluesrockreview.com. In a Blues Rock Review exclusive premiere, Todd Sharpville released a live performance video for his take on Dire Straits' Money for Nothing. It's off Sharpville's newly released Live at Rock Palast album. See the music video at bluesrockreview.com. Emmanuel Casablanca has announced his new album, Strung Out on Thrills. That will be released on February 2nd. The album features guest appearances from Joanna Connor and Elliot Sharp. Regarding his modern blues style, Casablanca said, quote, Every roots music genre has evolved. It is not enough to just keep something alive. We should want it to thrive, and to do so, we have to think differently and get proactive about it. Get the details on Strung Out on Thrills at bluesrockreview.com. And for the second straight week, Kenny Wayne Shepherd's Dirt on My Diamonds, Volume 1, remains number one on the Billboard Blues chart. Time is running out to vote for Blues Rock Review's top 20 albums of 2023. Head on over to bluesrockreview.com. The fan vote counts for 50% of the vote. The other 50% is the Blues Rock Review staff. These are the people writing the reviews over the course of the year. So head on over to bluesrockreview.com to vote. The deadline is Sunday, December 10th. And this year's top 20 albums of 2023 will be revealed on Monday, December 11th. And as always, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Blues Rock Weekly. And if you're enjoying Blues Rock Weekly, hit that like button. It really helps us out with YouTube's algorithm. We'll see you next time on Blues Rock Weekly.